All right, so uh, previously I created this workflow to create a channel whenever a project within ConnectWise goes into our ready for dispatch status. So it gets the members and it goes through all this stuff and it generates a channel for us automatically, just so that we have a you know place of communication and such. Um, but someone on the uh, on the, the MSP side of the of the house has uh, taken notice to canvases that Slack has. It, it's been out for about a year or so, but their API is fairly fresh. Um, so at first I, I looked through the uh, the Slack integration that is currently in Roost and it, it's not there. So we just decided to make our own Slack integration using our own bot token so that we can manage the permissions and give it you know the canvas permissions. So uh, it's gonna be a bright flash because no dark mode, but if I go over here to this demo project, and it's currently set to new, so we'll go ahead and set it to ready for dispatch. Save that. And you should see over here, in just a couple seconds, it'll automatically generate a channel for me. It'll also add all of our team members. So everyone in here is gonna automatically get added to the channel and so that everyone can communicate. Oh, there it is. So it generated the channel. Now that was all I had before, but they wanted canvassing. So I thought, okay, sure, we can do that. Um, so then I created this workflow that gets triggered from over here. So it then goes over here, it gets some of the project details like the phases and the tickets and stuff. And it, it puts that into a nice ball of text. So if I go over here to our work plan, you just have first phase, tick under phase one, tick under phase two, second phase, and such. Um, although I believe the demo gods have frowned upon me because I don't see a canvas update. Oh, nope, actually it is there, okay. So now you see over here, it automatically put in phase one as first phase, ticket under phase one, ticket under phase two, and all that. Um, I'm not filling this in yet because we're still working on our team members stuff. We're, we're having too many people added to the channel each time. Um, but once that, once you get the teams figured out, I'll also be populating underneath team members. And uh, all these are links to MTX. We use a Nilier MTX. So if I click on one of these, it would automatically open up the ticket in Nilier so that our technician can start working on the ticket. Another thing I decided to add was since these have check boxes, why not check the box? So if I go over here and I set, we'll say we just, we're done with this ticket. I set that to closed and it'll trigger the update canvas workflow that will then search the canvas, look for that ticket name, and hopefully it should close it unless I disabled the trigger. No, it's, it's enabled. Interesting. Okay, well, it, demo gods are frowning upon me today. So what it should be doing is it would go in through here and use the custom API request to talk to the canvas again. It'd find the ticket exact phrasing so it doesn't grab accidentally something else. And it will then replace this with a check mark and it cross it out automatically. And that's what I'm working on. But of course, as I'm working on this, um, Slack decides to release lists. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. And that's all I got. You, you figured this out pretty quickly, right? Like, oh how yeah. Long did it take you to put that uh, together? It, I would say like four-ish hours. Um, I know me and Eric had a lot of trouble with mainly just getting this text uh, in the proper format because they want all of this sent in through the API as a single line string. So it was really obnoxious to get things in the proper order and to link the things properly to match the ticket numbers. So that, that took a little bit of time, but the, the general scope of it was, was fairly simple. 